can you can you share anything any tips or advice for anyone who is trying to navigate this balancing act of multiple careers right so mm-hmm. or, or multiple things that they're into how do you balance that between mm-hmm. you being a mother and and your careers and you know all these things like how do you how do you manage it can be tough sometimes um sometimes for instance, you want to do a podcast and your daughter comes at you. <laughs> okay, I, I love her to death. She's the best. No, but, but you, you kind of have to try to make it work somehow, you know, um, just, just you do what you got to do to make it happen. Uh, sometimes that's more difficult than easy. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, I think making yourself happy as a parent is really important. Yes. yes. Um, and so I always say, do the things that is, are passionate, that you're passionate about in life mm-hmm. and let your children see you be happy and passionate because then you're giving them this gift as them seeing you in your best possible way. And so I always try to make time to fill that part of myself nice. so that when I come back, I have something really happy to share. Yes. yes. Um, and so I always remind myself that maybe it's a little bit harder because I'm juggling more things, but at the end of the day, I really am fulfilling myself more because I'm making myself happy. Um, Yeah. And I think nowadays we kind of have to have more than one career. Yeah. Really. It's hard to have just one. I mean, it's not the cut, the type of society that we used to just have one career for the the rest of our lives. Yeah. It's a different. Now it's like you have to have three or four different ones. You have to change. You have to go with the flow. Um, So I think, that's a big part of it too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Projects. What projects do you have mm-hmm. in the pipeline and perf- or performances? <laughs> what do you have lined up? Yeah. Um, well, I've just actually been in the studio recently and I am working on the title track of my album, which is going to be coming out, which mm-hmm. is called Love Frequency 528. Whoa. Yeah. What's 528? <laughs> I love that you're asking that. I love it. I love it. Okay, well, I studied this a while back. There's a frequency in music called 528. And when you hear the tone 528, it actually has healing powers. Um, it's supposed wow. to emit healing and love and happiness and positivity. Wow. Um, and this whole album that I'm working on is about energy and about uh, healing and all of those things. And so I thought, what better way to, to talk about that than to do the album around that topic? Wow. And what I also found out is that a lot of bands use that frequency, like the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, a lot of really famous artists use this frequency and it's actually very healing. And a lot of people appeal to that frequency. You and just, so I thought that would be really cool too. You just gave me a whole new appreciation for your single just because of that. <laughs> Honestly, because I initially I just looked at it as that, right? Fresh start. But now that you shared that, the frequency detail, it, it changes everything. And it gives me a totally different, more, you know, substantial meaning. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. now I can see where it's connected to, where it's coming from, right? So thank you for that. That's awesome. Yeah, no Five problem. Five to eight, okay. Yeah, yeah. And so the track that I'm doing, it's a very positive, uplifting, happy track. Mm-hmm. And what I love about it is that I actually have that frequency in the song. Nice. So the frequency of 528 is in the song, frequency 528. Wow. Um, so I'm just really excited about it. And it's going to be a fun track. And I can't really say much more, but that's what the whole album is going to be about, is like healing and energy and love and just spirituality and just all of it all in all in the album wow so okay mm-hmm. that's perfect now i want to know about the single mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. talk to me about that how did that come about um what does the title actually mean to you right we'll start there and then i'll ask my other question after okay are we talking about the one that i released already yeah fresh start. fresh start yes yes Let's start there. okay so fresh start is actually a very personal song that i wrote Um, I came out of a very toxic relationship and I used a lot of that experience to write the song. Um, 
not only was it just that relationship that that did that for me um basically it's talking about being able to change your mind at any time in your life like if at 50 years old you decide you know what i don't like what i'm doing i'm going to take another path i'm going to be a photographer that's it whatever it is there's like no expiry date for that there's no limit age limit for that you can change your mind at any time who says you can't you can yeah Yeah. um and so i was basically saying embracing myself and going i'm embracing my fresh start like i kind of put aside my music for a bit you know after all these bad things happened in the industry for me And I kind of put it aside and I, I kind of turned my back on it a little bit. Wow. And then this is my way of kind of saying, you know what? I can start again and I can pick it right back up. That's it. 